The seas around Hong Kong are a metaphor. They're a symbol of what oceans around the world have become or are quickly becoming. On one hand is an ecosystem blessed with incredible diversity. And on the other hand, it's a natural resource under enormous pressure due to overpopulation, pollution, and unsustainable consumption. Yet, despite all this, life persists. The waters of Hong Kong are very special. 25% of all marine species recorded in China can be found in Hong Kong waters. Hong Kong has more species of hard coral than the entire Caribbean Sea. We have such biodiversity. The coral in Hong Kong has declined in the last few decades. We have less coral species, particularly in the south, where we have a lot of influence from the Pearl River. And then we lost almost 50% of the area where some of our more fragile species can live. I study the importance of coral at the University of Hong Kong at the Swire Institute of Marine Science. Coral are indicator of the health of the marine environment around them. It's this complex structure with nooks and crannies for things to tuck into and to live in. And these are just like apartment complexes for humans, except they're there for fish or algae or clams, where they come and they can lay their eggs and hide away from predators. I use a coring pipe to dig deep into the seabed and pull up sediment. Within the sediment are clues, and these clues are fossils. That's my mission, to find out the story of what's happened, so we can author a better future. And my mission is shared. Until we're at Port Island, which is way over that way. So we'll start off here. Zhang's research actually tells us how the living environment in Hong Kong is like. What is it like? 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 我哋就想揀一種對環境友善嘅物料，而且係唔會釋放出有害物質嘅。咁最後我哋就揀咗 terracotta 赤土土。我哋會喺水底入面揀一個適合珊瑚生長嘅地方，播種之後再等佢慢慢成長。對我嚟講咧，其實香港嘅海洋係好值得保育同埋修復嘅，唔單止係為咗我哋呢一代人自己而努力，同時亦都係為咗我哋嘅下一代保留呢個咁珍貴嘅天然資源。The first step is to understand what we have, because we can't protect what we don't know. We need society, government and industry, everyone, to work together to find solutions. Every little bit counts.